What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. We're going to take a look at the onboard programming of, well, any quick run speed control that has onboard programming. It works kind of in this same way. This particular example is a WP1080 G2, but they all kind of work the same. So I have it all hooked up to a normal radio. There's a receiver over here, a uh, battery pack is plugged in, and my radio is turned on. You start with the speed control off, you hold down the button like you're going to do calibration, and then you turn it on and you just keep holding it down starts to beep at you first that's calibration mode now it gets into the programming mode it's in default setting number one or default uh, setting number three for item number one if you want to change it you tap the button that makes it blink four times and you want to go to setting number one that's one and you can see the one's pretty quick here's setting two that's two default is three one, two, three. And if you want to use the real drive mode, like many of us are going to be doing with our brand new WP1080 G2, you go to setting number four. So you're on setting four, and then you press and hold to save. And then it goes back into the cycling of the program mode. So that is the quick and dirty on some very simple onboard programming to change settings. It's a lot of blinking, but basically what happens is when you uh, do the press and then you turn it on, it goes past calibration and it starts giving you the settings that are adjustable. There is a subtle nuance to these. There's 15 settings in this particular model, and we would hate for you to have to count to 15 beeps. So the engineers devised a very simple method to cheat that a little bit, much like Roman numerals. There are I's for ones and a V for five. This works the same way. Short beeps are ones, long beeps are fives. So the first four settings are one, two, three, four. And then the fifth setting is a long beep. So I'm going to show you how all of that looks right now. And again, plugged in battery pack, radio is turned on. Hold down the set button, turn on the speed control. This is the calibration indicator. Then it stops. One, two, three, four. That's the long for five. That's a long and a short for six, two shorts for seven. You get the idea. It goes through this process. That's two longs for a 10, two longs for 11, two longs and a, you get the idea here. But that's an example of what it looks like so you don't get confused by the myriad of blinking lights. And then if you, when you get to the setting that you want to change, you just let go of the button and it gets you into the values that it has available, just like we did in the first example. So folks, that is the quick and dirty about the onboard programming for your quick run series speed controls. If your speed control has onboard programming, it will be listed in the instruction manual, how to program your speed control with the set button. If your speed control does not have onboard programming, that section will not be listed in your instruction manual because there's no reason for it to be there. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns for us directly, please do shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. And I like to remind everybody that we do a podcast first and third Fridays of the month. It is called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. You can find it on your favorite podcast service. And we give away free RC stuff every single episode from Hobbywing, of course. So give an episode a listen and find out how to win. As always, folks, thanks for tuning in to The Charlie Show here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We'll see you all next time.